Again from side control. Uh, we're going to start this with a good isolated arm position here. Okay. So he's not going to have a frame underneath of our uh, side like this. He's not going to have a safety position. We're going to start where we have his arm isolated up on our hip. We have the head. Okay. A lot of times people they will hold on to the head up here or they hold on to the head on the other side, especially if our head position is low and they haven't uh, been able to achieve getting that frame in front of our neck yet. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to switch our arms. Right now my arm is controlling this side of his body. My head hand is controlling this side of his body. So I'm going to switch that. As I switch that, I'm going to drop my left hip. So I switch, I drop my left hip, and I block his hip on the floor. I want to go ahead and start to grab my own lapel here. I'm going to use my hips to kind of squash his arm and keep it away from his ribs. Okay. What I want to do now is drive forward and put my knee on top of his bicep. Okay. And once I get here, I'm going to start to move my way around his head. So I have his arm trapped with my uh, shin on top of his bicep. I have this one on the mat stopping him from following me or trying to get his knees back inside. And now I'm going to start to move around to north-south. When I move around to north-south, I'm going to windshield wiper my feet. And it's important that I get uh, my outside leg on before I take the, take the other one off. So I don't want to go here and give him the chance to get that arm out. Okay. So I have it trapped, I want to keep it trapped. So until this foot comes on top, this one doesn't come off. Okay. Now I'm going to step around his head. On the outside, I'm going to start to push and bring him all the way up on his side and I clamp my knee against his back. From here, I want to stay tall and start to find the fat part of his hand with my hand. Okay? I want to grab my pinky right underneath his pinky. A lot of times you see people grab here, but it's going to allow him to close his hand and try to re when he starts to re-grab and grip fight before I can connect anything. If I grab here, when I connect my hands, even if he like brings his knees up and makes a grip, um, it's going to be hard for him to hang on because my hand is occupying some of the space that's closing his hand. Okay? So, we're here. If I can keep his arm up tall like this and not allow him to grab anything, that's going to be the, obviously the best thing for me. So to finish the Kimura, all I want you guys to do right now is turn your chest, put their hand behind their back, and call it good. I'm more interested on seeing, <coughs> seeing you guys develop the movement around the head and getting the, the grips connected. Okay? So we're starting off in a good uh, side control position here. I decide that I want to start attacking this arm and isolating it. So I switch, I drop my hip, grab my own lapel, block his hip. Start to smash his arm down, bring my knee up and over his shoulder onto his bicep. Windshield wiper my feet, step to the side. I'm going to drive off of these toes and start to lift my elbow up. Pinch here. Try to stay tall, keep his hand away from his belt and his pants, grab the fat part of his hand, grab the top of my wrist, take his arm up, tuck it behind his belt, and come right back into the position. Questions? Okay, on three, what's it do? We'll get into that as we go. So everything is going to start off the same. If the guy's frame is on the other side of your head, if I go here and start to beat his arm and it's on this side, everything stays the same. Okay, I still like crush his arm the same way, bring my hip up, pin it with my knee, windshield wiper my feet, pull him up on my side. Now here, all I have to do to get his hand, I can't, I'm not going to reach up here. I'm going to turn and look away from it and shrug. I'm going to go this way. Okay? So his hand comes back turn look away and then I want to have that like program to catch this part of the hand. Grab here. Now he's going to go ahead and make a grip on whatever. I have my hand in the palm of his hand. When we think about breaking the grip, a lot of times the sequel just yank up. Okay? I'm actually going to have a heck of a time breaking his grip just yanking up. Instead what I want to do is rock my head down, push down on his hand, take it away. I want to go that way before I go that way. So as I rock down, I'm going to go down, out, up and over, okay? So I'm here, down, down, and out. Here, up, tall, over to his belt, gently, okay? So last time, I want everybody to put a frame in front of their partner's neck this time. So I have this arm isolated still. I decide I'm gonna try to attack this. Go under, grab the lapel, drop that head side hip. 
pin their arm, windshield wiper, start to come up. Your hand is isolated, they were trying to hide it from you. Turn, look, shrug, catch the hand. Okay? As we connect our hands, he pulled down, grab his belt. Don't pull up. Okay? Rock forward. Down, up, <coughs> over. Okay? You guys will feel like it's pretty strong grip break. If you're on the bottom, it's going to be very hard for you to hang on to that belt. Make sure you get this grip inside the hand to save your life. On three, one, two, three.